Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here, and today's video is going to be talking all about why now is the absolute perfect time to do the Elder God Wars bosses and why it can make you incredibly rich. We're going to get into some really awesome statistics and info in a bit, so make sure you stick around for that. But first, I want to talk about one of the main topics of this video, and that is what came out with the release of Hets Oasis. Hets Oasis is a limited time event going until January 16th, and with it came a new drop enhancer for the Elder God Wars that we're going to break down entirely in a bit. But first, we'll talk a little bit about it. So this enhancer Enhancer can be obtained by getting 10 tablet of Het Fragments. This full tablet is currently going for only around 4 million GP each, which is much less than people thought. This tablet is going to be a must buy for everyone that even does a few Elder God Wars dungeon kills, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. So the tablet of Het lasts until January 16th, so you have over a week left after you see this video. After that, it'll be deleted forever. So this tablet of Het reduces the denominator of drop rates of unique items from Karapek, Archglacier, Krosis, and Zuck by 10%. So for instance, if a drop is 1 in 55 drop rate, this will make it 1 in 50. This is also confirmed to work with Luck of the Dwarves, so for instance, if a drop is a 1 in 27 drop rate, it'll first calculate the rate with Luck of the Dwarves, which would make it 1 in 26. Then it'll minus the 10%, which would make the drop rate 1 in 23. This was confirmed to be the case by Mod Luma on Reddit. So now that we know what this drop enhancer does, how good actually is it, and why is Elder God Wars just so insane right now? Well, we're going to take a view at all of the Elder God Wars bosses and see just how this tablet affects each and every one of them because it's not as simple as you think and we'll show just how insane some of these bosses are right now. So I went and made a spreadsheet calculating all of this that you can see some of the process if you're interested in that I'll link it below uh, but first we're going to take a trip to Zuck and check out some stats about the Tablet of Het. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that I won't be showing any GP per hour statistics but I will show the expected unique loot value per kill so you can basically use this value times however many kills kills you personally get to get your own personal GP per hour with just uniques. Again, we won't be talking about normal drops at all because uh, this tablet doesn't affect it. I know many people get many different amounts of kills per hour, so that's why I thought I wouldn't include it. And I'll let you guys make that calculation yourself based on how many kills you get. So since this tablet only affects unique drops, that's what we're going to be talking about today. The unique loot GP per kill that's expected. So for Zuck, the normal drop rate with Luck of the Doors of the unique items are 1 in 26 for a weapon piece, 1 in 49 for a magma tempest, and 1 in 49 for a scripture of full. This comes out to an average GP value of 74.9 mil per kill of hard mode Zuck. Yes, you heard me. Hard mode Zuck is 75 million GP per kill just in unique drops. This is mainly because a sword piece and magma tempest are both one bill or above and they have such a common drop rate. But what about if we look at the new drop rate from the Tablet of Het? Well, this tablet makes Zuck drop the weapon pieces at a 1 in 23 rate, and then Magma Tempest and Scripture at a 1 in 44 rate, making the new average GP per kill a little over 84 mil. This means if you do hard mode Zuck with this tablet, you are expected in the long run to get an extra 9.1 million GP per kill during the next 8 days with this tablet than without it, which the tablet is about 4 mil up the moment so essentially this is a must buy. It's safe to say Zuck has been insane GP per hour since it was released in hard mode and the tablet of head only makes him more overpowered to get those big unique drops. But what about the other bosses? Well next we're going to move on to Karapek which drops the Fractured Staff of Armadil most notably. Now Karapek is calculated based on solo hard mode kills but I'm also going to include some info about each loot pile so you can basically calculate it yourself if you're duoing or trioing. So as you can see by the drop rates on the right the Armadil pieces go from a 1 in 149 drop rate to a 1 in 134 drop rate and the average GP per hard mode solo or 3 piles of loot is 12.8 
8 mil. But with a Tablet of Head, this is increased to 14.3 mil GP per kill in unique drops, which means a Tablet of Head is going to get you an extra 1.4 mil GP per kill in uniques during hard mode solo in the long run, and it will also get you an extra 479k per loot pile. So if you're trioing, each of you will essentially earn an extra 479k in the long run, so really, really good. And this increase from the Tablet of Head isn't exactly 10% for any of these bosses because of the way it works with the Luck of the Doors and how it rounds. So next we're going to move on to Croesus, RuneScape 3's skilling boss. Now this was one that actually really interested me just to see how good Croesus is since I haven't really done it that much and it's a boss that is very accessible to most people. Now Croesus actually has 9 unique drops and they all are the same drop rate. So what I did to make this one a little bit easier to calculate is I estimated the value for any unique drop and divided that by the drop rates for any unique. So any unique is 1 in 49.5 with Luck of the Dwarves, or 1 in 44.5 with the Tablet of Head. This comes out to a little over 7 mil per kill in uniques normally, or up to almost 7.9 GP per kill with the Tablet of Head for an increase of almost 800k per kill, which all things considered is very very good for Croesus. Now this is based off 4 man teams with cap contribution for uniques. So now finally, we're going to move on to the last boss, which is the Arch Glacier. Now disclaimer here, the Arch Glacier is a boss that was very tricky and really hard to calculate things for, so I did the best I could, but I couldn't really do this for streaking. The reason is because so many people kill the Arch Glacier differently, and it's hard to calculate and take into account streaks and the ever-changing drop rate. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I decided to just do a thousand percent claims just to kind of show the increase of the tablet. Of course, not many people do a thousand percent claims, so this was a way to get the concrete drop rates. Although I will say, streaking a hundred kill streaks is actually pretty similar to this in terms of uniques from what I calculated, but I didn't get the math perfectly right for that, so that's why I didn't want to include it in this video. But this is pretty similar to like streaking a uh, hundred streaks or like zero to a thousand. Of course, this doesn't count the common drops, which are much much higher when streaking than doing claims. So for Glacier, the core drop rate is 1 in 453 with 1000% in rage and then gets buffed to 1 in 407. So the average unique loot per kill at 1000% claims is 3.48 mil. And then with the Tablet of Head, that bumps up to almost 3.9 mil for a 412k GP increase per kill, which is by far the lowest of all the bosses. But keep in mind the Arch Glacier is much faster to kill than something like Croesus, even at 1000%. It can be killed pretty fast, especially when streaking. Uh, you're going to be killing this way, way faster. Um, if you're going to do 100 streaks, you will be getting a lot of those kills very fast. So while this is definitely one of the weaker bosses, for the unique GP made per kill because you know a lot of the Arch Glacier is also about the common loot it's still a really really nice buff. So as you can see with basically every single one of these Elder God Wars bosses the increase is very very good and you'll pay for your tablet of Het very very quickly. I'd recommend that everyone should take advantage of this. It's not too often we get something like this. I remember we had like double drop weekends like 10 years ago and and we never really get something um, that's actually increasing drop rates. So it's a really nice increase, especially at bosses with such expensive uniques. Like Zuck is by far the biggest and most notable buff to the GP per hour. But Karapek is also very good and Kroos is too. And the Glacier is decent as well. I wanted to kind of go more into the drop rates on this video, how each boss is affected because it's not just as simple as increasing your GP gain by 10% as like I showed the tablet interacts differently with drop rates lower and luck of the dwarves like that Zuck example it was an even higher increase in GP per hour. So now's a great time to start killing Elder God Wars bosses. Whether you're someone that doesn't PVM a lot, Croesus can make you a ton of money you don't have to be scared of dying or anything like that. Crypt Bloom is very, very expensive. If you're someone who likes Arch Glacier and has been doing lower in Rage, this can also be a good option to try to learn Streak Higher in Rage and make some more money. 
And then of course, Karapek and Zuck are amazing money and even better with this tablet. All the Elder God Wars bosses are very high GP per hour right now and prices for the items are really, really high. It's also a really great opportunity to try to like go Iron Man style for some things. If you wanna get your own tier 95s, make the commitment to learning Arch Glacier and trying to get a tier 95 set from scratch with this improved drop rate. Or maybe you go for your very own Fractured Seth of Armadillo from scratch from Karapek. Elder God Wars is some of my favorite content, and I've not even barely scratched the surface with Zuck or Croesus. This next week, I'm going to be extremely motivated to take advantage of this, and you should too. I think it's an absolutely amazing time to get grinding on Elder God Wars, try some bosses that you haven't before, maybe team up with some friends, and hopefully make a ton of money. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I made sure to double check or triple check the math with friends that are a lot smarter than me so it should all be correct and of course I'm going to leave a link to the spreadsheet that I made in the description as well in case you want to dig a little deeper and see kind of what I did. While it's not the prettiest spreadsheet it shows a lot of good information and kind of the stuff that went in behind the scenes for this and yeah I hope this motivated some of you to try out Elder God Wars. It's honestly so much fun um, even if you're not that great at PVM or don't do high level PVM stuff like Crow can really make you a ton of money. Same with like normal mode Karapek is pretty good as well. So I would highly recommend you guys go try this out and try to grind out some Elder God Wars drops or even go for one of the logs. I know I'm going to be grinding Elder God Wars for the next eight days and hopefully I can finish some of those logs I've been trying to finish for quite a while. Cough, Arch or cough. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. It helps get the video out to more people. So it's really appreciated. And if you have haven't subscribed and make sure to subscribe. I think 90% of my audience is not subscribed so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see all these videos right when they come out and yeah thank you guys for watching thanks for all the support and I'll see you all in the next video.